Hi everyone! So today I thought I would do another uh, sharp line pour, uh, like the palo pour, but just don't move it too much so it remains like stripes and nice sharp lines. And I am going with uh, what I think are peacock colors, uh, the peacock feathers, and I mixed my paint to be a bit thicker than usual. The only thing is uh, I am using two inks and I'm not sure how sharp those lines will be but I am pairing them with uh, thicker mixed paint uh, so hopefully the lines will stay nice and I won't put the two inks next to each other. I will put a color in between. I also mix my paints with uh, a bit of iridescent medium. I added the iridescent medium to the paints that I wanted to be iridescent and then I added the GAC 800 uh, to it to uh, fluidify it and to prevent cracking, crazing and all that stuff. And so most of my colors, uh, I think all of them are iridescent because uh, the peacock uh, Feathers are very shiny, iridescent, and nice, so I thought I would add a iridescent touch. And so, um, that's about it, really. Uh, my heavy body paints are about 30% paint, 10% uh, this, and then uh, I add um, 30, so what, 60? 60% medium GC800, about that. I just mix them to have a thicker consistency than usual, no water, uh, I want to have nice um, sharp lines. So yeah, um, I'll zoom you in and we'll get started with that. Alright, so if I want a look of uh, peacock feathers, what I'll do is uh, many polos uh, all around and I'll start by um, the green. I'll put the colors I've used in the description as usual. Just note that the first green I used I mixed with a bit of gold and pearl as well as the iridescent medium. All right, so now let's tilt this easy, not too much. Yeah, that's a bit too much already. I think the difference in consistency of the inks and the heavy body paint is too much. So we'll give it movement.
you give you a time lapse in case it changes. Um, I doubt it will, but we never know. I'll cover my sides meanwhile and. Alright guys, so, um, it didn't quite come out as I expected, but I uh, accidentally put my finger in, in here and I quite like the effect uh, that it gives. So I'm wondering, should I just make lines with my finger uh, across? Because since it didn't come out as I expected, maybe I can experiment something. So that's what I'll do. I'll just put a new glove on because I'm not going to put my finger in there without glove. And yeah, as you can see here, I put my finger in by accident, but let's... It's going to look unique. How about that? Just going to dab it a little bit so my canvas is covered. Look at that, that effect is amazing. <laughs> I'm not done yet. Yep, there we go. Now oh, I like it a lot. <laughs> Alright, so that's a nice discovery. I quite enjoy that. Uh, it's really cool, really smooth. Um, happy little accident again. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I started with just the line, but then I realized I had some um, canvas exposed, so I just tried dabbing it so the paint would cover it but then it gave me a nice effect so i think uh, it's a nice discovery here and i'm wondering now if i could just do a piece where i dip something in repeatedly all across the canvas to uh, have uh, an effect of the kind and i I think that's what I'm going to do uh, in one of my next video. I'm going to try it out for sure. Um, mix my paint picker again and we'll see uh, how that works, I guess. But I really like it. It's really cool. And we're back! And um, how can I put that? Uh, Happy little accidents <laughs> once again. Uh, discoveries. I mean, it's not the result I was expecting at first. And then I put my finger in there by accident. And it, it was a cool effect. So experimented on that. And then I didn't have the effect that I wanted from the just the line. Uh, canvas was exposed. I didn't like that. And well... I discovered something cool, a little mo motives uh, here um, across the canvas, I like a uh, heart, very smooth looking, I love it. Um, 
very nice discovery, very nice uh, happy accident. I love this one, it's full of movement, the, the eye travel around the canvas, it's like moving, the paint is moving that way and the lines are moving the other way. Uh, I like that, it's a crisscross, but a subtle one, just this, the lines aren't too subtle, but the paint is uh, more, uh, yeah, I think that makes sense, maybe, hopefully. <laughs> um, I can already see uh, their descents in there, so that it's a good sign. Uh, it's going to be even more shiny once the medium dries and it goes transparent. It's going to be uh, darker, uh, shinier, and can't wait to see that. So yeah, mm, very nice painting. If you like it, give it a like. Um, it helps me out. and. Um, on that note, thank you guys for watching, I hope you have a great day, make sure to subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!